<laughs> oh god. Oh my goodness. Morning everyone. Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Hopefully it's not too late for y'all over there. I just woke up, it's like 7 a.m. here. Whew. God, man. Waking up so early is difficult. How do people wake up this early, man? Whew. Go right to stream? Oh, it's ridiculous. No, I didn't wash my face. I literally rolled out of bed. I literally rolled out of bed, got on my PC, and started streaming. I haven't done anything except for those two things. It's literally wake up, grind. <laughs> hello, everyone. Let me side everyone in chat. Uh, hello, Forgotten Ghost. Hello, MEB. Welcome in. Mark Hunter, good to see you. Oropedia Lover, welcome in. Strilicrus, welcome to the stream. Uh, Matt, good to see you here. Hello, hello. I didn't know Ezra was a he. Yeah, Ezra's a dude. Ezra is, in fact, a dude. Uh, is 404. Welcome in. Akilia, good to see you here again. Cryosis93, welcome in. How is everyone doing? Your morning voice makes it obvious when you woke up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I very much have a deeper voice when, uh, when I first wake up. It's very noticeable, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> it's 4 p.m. in Egypt. Wow, we got a viewer from Egypt? Wow. I think most of my viewers... Is anyone here from, like, America? Or is no one here from the States right now? Just genuinely curious how many of you guys are from the states and how many of you guys are from literally anywhere else because I'm trying to figure out what's a good time for for streaming here I want as many people to be able to tune in and have fun and you know join us live as we as I can hello Schmepperoni welcome in how y'all doing welcome welcome man cuz I was I was checking my comments right and like and like the overall sentiment I got, no matter when I went live, was always like, oh, I can't make the stream because it's at a bad time for me. So I was like, I wonder if I streamed earlier, if people can make it, you know? If more people can make it and more people can have fun with us. Been jamming to the Uluru menu music? Ooh, I have not even listened to the Uluru menu music yet. That's a good point. I should do that. I should open the game, actually. 10 p.m. for Aki and me here. Okay, so that's like the Philippine time zone. Nighttime in Asia right now. Yeah, I figured as much. Canada here. Okay, so we kind of have viewers from everywhere right now. Everywhere's, everyone's kind of from everywhere. Nine AM here, nine PM here, USA Midwest. Yeah, we got no, we got people from everywhere. Make the bed as soon as you wake up, leaving no imprint of your Well, welcome in everyone. Thank you all for joining me for sort of an impromptu stream. This is more of a test to see if this time works better for uh, my viewers or not. Kind of curious about that, so I decided to give it a test run. But yeah, the main thing we're going to be doing today is uh, the 1.5 story. I don't really know anything about the 1.5 story or anything about the event. I'm uh, going into this as blind as I can. We sure can. You have names somewhere in Earth at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at the sheer variety of people that are here. I was more expecting... Like, mostly people from the U.S., but we've got a pretty good variety of people here. You pulling for Spathodia? Yes, but I will be pulling for her, um... I'll be pulling for her when I do the stream with her voice actress, Makeda Bromfield, in a few days. In a week, I think? Let me, let me double check the exact day. 
I would like, uh, the blessing of Makeda in order to pull her. Because I'm on... I can hit Hard Pity. Oh, Emmy, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Good luck. A uh, little good luck for the stream. Thank you so much, Emmy. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And thank you for the good luck on the stream. Um, VA blessing your polls. That's the idea, right? <laughs> but also, like, I feel like the voice actors and actresses don't get enough credit in, like, their work. Because unless Reverse 1999 makes, like, an official announcement... It's like, it's hard to track down and find these people. So, in my eyes, I just want to, like, put the spotlight on them because, you know... We, uh, we all kind of just take the voice acting for granted. Saving for Ezra, TBH, or IDK since I have Tooth Fairy on my team. I don't even really know Ezra's kit, but if you have a sustained, like, Tooth Fairy already for your star team, I don't really think Ezra's worth it. I would only really tell people to pull for Ezra if you don't have Tooth Fairy. Just because, like, if you have Tooth Fairy, you already have, like, a decent enough sustain. Uh, where is the announcement? Oh. Oh, sorry, chat. I'm still just waking up. Um, uh, trying to... Trying to get everything going. Let's see. Yeah, so in about a week... In about a week, I'll be streaming with Makeda Bromfield, so you guys have a week. If you guys have any voice line requests or fan art or memes that you would like to submit, uh, now you have about a week before submissions close. Also, additionally, before I forget, uh, we have a new video up on the channel uh, with Six's VA. I know it's a little bit late, but... Uh, in case you haven't seen it, there you go. Very fun stream. Very, uh, uh, very thankful to everyone who sent in their uh, their stuff for the stream. It was a lot of fun. Let me just pin this real quick. So you guys can go ahead and check that out after the stream is done. Uh, I think someone said that I'm in for a blast. 1.5 story is really exciting. So that has me really excited. So let's go have a look. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I was not ex- Whoa. I wasn't expecting this. Yo, I, I, I fuck with this. This is good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I kind of fuck with this chat. This is this kind of goes crazy. We making it to the we making it to the Olympics with this one, boy. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of cool. <laughs> this is nice dude how does reverse 1999 always have such good like event songs it's so good like i still i still listen to the i still listen to the 1.2 one the 1.2 one was so good that's probably my favorite one bro it's peak this is peak fiction bro <laughs> okay i haven't seen this yet so this is what I'm curious about. Let's have a look at this so we can have a peek at what's going on. It's one of the Arcanus lineages, a rare kind, Miss Bathadia. Okay, so we're based on the past cases, you will eventually become yourself again. What does that mean? The old self. The old self? So, is Pathadia like a reincarnation? I remember it now. Under the starry sky, on the scorching sand, countless 
Okay. Spath is essentially schizophrenic. Oh no. <laughs> Oh wow. So are they trying to revive the Arcanist Olympics? That time I got reincarnated as a fire Arcanist girl now airing on Crunchyroll. No! No more Isekai, bro. No more Isekai. No more Isekai. I'm so tired of it. Oh, I've, people were talking about this reporter guy. Is he really like that important? Schizo Boxer bringing back the Magic Olympics. Let's light up the Uluru torch. I really want, I really want Ulu. Her design is so pretty. I don't even care that she's not a good burn support. I just really want Ulu. She's so pretty. Her design's so cute. He annoying? Oh, shit. All right. What, what is this? The game news, a bodybuilding competition. Non-humanoid Arcanus and humanoid Arcanus will be judged according to... Uh, according to different scoring standards, taking into account factors such as body size, hand and foot structure, flight ability, and other considerations to maximize the participation rights for various Arcanus and ensure fair competition. That makes sense. Okay. Well, I guess we'll come back to these when it's, uh, once we've done the story. Let's just hop into the main event. Really punchable? Okay. So, uh, we don't like the reporter. Is that what I'm getting? We don't like the reporter? Good luck. Rah! Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Doki's favorite character will have screen time here. My favorite character? Are you talking about Onion? Is Onion in this? Is Onion in this story? Who the fuck is Desert Flannel? I'm not home right now, or I don't have time for calls. Please leave a message after the beep. Are you doing the whole story or just a part of it? Ideally the whole story, but we'll see how far we can get. I'm betting he's the main antagonist of the event. Ezra? Oh wow, I was not exp they just didn't censor swear? They just didn't censor ass? I'm kinda surprised they left that in. Not a single beam of light can pass through the thick blackout curtain. Blocked out by its perfect sun blocked out by it is a perfect sunny day. If you stand me up again, we're both screwed. Oh hey Desert Flannel. Who's talking on the other line? Leave it to Thursday. Just leave it to Thursday. Thursday is crucial. I will get expelled if I mess it up. I'm begging you. Just come over. Okay, now. wait, wait, wait. So they censor damn, but they don't censor ass? What is the standards for reverse 1999's like censorship? <laughs> Why did they not censor ass, but they censor damn? Am I stupid? <laughs> okay, chat, I need I need I need you guys to be honest with me. Is damn worse than ass? Because I feel like ass is worse than damn, right? Like on the tier list of like of like swear words, I feel like ass is like slightly higher than damn. <laughs> I know, right? Sputnik says damn on a greeting list. That's what I'm saying. I feel like people have said damn. Some of the swears make no sense to me. I'm just confused. Desert Flannel is hot, I can confirm that. Okay, I don't really remember who Desert Flannel is. Both should be censored for real. I don't know how far they're gonna go on censorship. Who agrees this theme is a banger? Welcome in, Han Shu. That theme goes kinda crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Anyone remember answering machines? This was, yeah. I have an answering machine, but I never look at it. Oh wait, you can see her portrait down here. Um, let me see if I can move myself. 
You can see that little portrait down here. Between the quilt and the bed, the bipedal animal is struggling to come back to the... The bipedal animal? <laughs> they call Desert Flannel a bipedal animal? Jesus. That's a person, dude. <laughs> you chill. <laughs> Shoot, sorry, Doka. I was playing Valo. It's all good. I was playing Valo to like 1 a.m. last night, so I'm like on I'm on, I'm barely on like six hours of sleep. Yo, am I going crazy? Did they just call Desert Flannel a, a fucking bipedal animal? What the fuck? <laughs> That's insane. That's fucking insane. La criatura. <laughs> Doku, what's my rank? I don't do rank. I haven't tried, but I think if I really like focus, I could probably just do I could probably rank up to gold. I just don't really like doing rank because it's like people take that shit way too seriously. You know what I mean, chat? People take rank so seriously. It's like life or death for them. But it's like, guys, we're in iron. Chill. <laughs> Valor stream. Would any of you guys be interested in a Valorant stream? Like, because I do play a ton of Valo off stream. I'm not any good, but like. I'm a Sage main, by the way, chat. I, I play Sage. I play Sage kind of aggressively. I'm not like Grim, but like, I play her kind of aggressively because in my elo, no one really tries to take space. Do it for the vibes. Thanks, gotta go, by the way, Doku. I'm a Neon Sage. Oh, okay, okay. I have no interest in Valo, but you do you. That's fair. Walmart Grim, for real. I might stream it on Twitch, because I want to keep my channel mostly Reverse 1999 related. Uh, so I might do it on Twitch. So for those of you who don't follow me on Twitch, now might be a good time to start following me, because I will start streaming there as like chill times. You know, non reverse 1999 content. There's my Twitch link for those of you who guys want to, want to follow. Walmart Grim, true. Except I can't do the Grim walls. I just, I just kind of fuck around. <laughs> All right, let's see. She has missed out on so many things. Whoa, where are we? A similar misfortune befalls someone else too. Oh, hi, Vern. <laughs> Who the fuck is Mr. Slouch Hat? It's too outdated to provide any useful information. Terrific. Medbox here. Again. <gasps> oh my God, they're here. The fourth time. Oh my God, Medbox. Wait, I didn't know Medbox Pocket was here. Wait, I didn't. I didn't know they were here. Wait, oh my God, that makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Medpog. They're so pretty, chat. God. Since my short life is supposed to be spent in creating huge value for all the living things in this world, Foundation should have sent me another bodyguard, a more reliable one. And the contact here should have offered us a more reliable map. Oh, God. Wait. <laughs> I'm the one and only reliable bodyguard who can keep you safe. Wait, Verton's the bodyguard? Verton's the bodyguard? What the fuck is Verton gonna do? Throw her suitcase at them? You are of great significance to Laplace. They don't want you Freaking to- Freaking dumbass said Medpock calmly. <laughs> You'll know who Mr. Slouch Hat is soon enough. Okay, okay. Cities always change and maps are supposed to follow them in step. We can go back to the last junction or keep going forward. There is a trail about 300 meters ahead and it leads all the way to the Rolling Croc bookstore. Where are they trying to go? We want to check the map. When things don't work out one way, a researcher will find another. I just noticed that the ammo medpock shot came from their forearms. Yeah, it's like their blood. They're like drawing blood from themselves. Also, can we just take a moment to to look at medpock's design? Their design is so cool. I don't think I've ever brought this up, but they have probably one of the coolest designs in the game. Cause they're kind of based on like retro futurism. Like, look at that gun. That's that's like that's sick as hell. 
it's just god everything about the design you know from them being like a, a mad scientist to them being like gender neutral just oh god i, I love them i love med puck they're so cool see there comes another way oh that was an uncanny smile i don't know if i like this i don't know if i i don't know if i like the smile <laughs> The girl coming around from the corner is the perfect choice. For what? Hey, wait. Miss Spa... Spathidia, right? Wait, where's Meeting Spathidia this uh, early? Huh. Who are you? Uh... Do I know you? We're meeting Spathidia really early. With sweat on the tip of her nose, she keeps hopping on the spot. A bestie badge with her name on it is pinned to her chest. Clearly, she is not aware of what gives her away. Um. All right. Excuse us. We're looking for a bookstore. It's called the Rolling Croc, with a hand drum made of crocodile skin. Help what exactly are we doing here, actually? Like, and what are we trying to achieve with this? The very store has the fragment of the fungus potion analysis report I want. Oh, and that's how Ezra's going to tie into it, isn't it? Would have taken a walk on this ridiculously vast land. No one. Besides. No frisbee here. The rolling croc. Rolling. Oh, I pass by that store every morning when I exercise. Do we know why all Arcanists have code names? Probably not to just probably just to not dox them. <laughs> Turn right into the lane after passing by a cafe with an orange signboard. I'm obsessed with Medpox's uh, voice. See. The thing that I'm obsessed with, right, is that, like, Medpox's voice in ja the Japanese dub is much more mask, whereas in this one, it's, like, kind of androgynous. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I've come to terrorize. I see you streaming on Twitch. What are you doing live on Twitch right now? Get back to your Valo game, bro. Go, Manipi. Go, go, go to your, go to your Valo game. I see you streaming on Twitch. Go, go get your, go climb out of bronze. You can do it. <laughs> okay, one second, chat. I want to show you this. I want to show you Medicine Pocket's, uh, uh, Japanese voice acting. Because they have a, a more masculine voice in Japanese, and it's just, I fucking love when they do that in, like, with like androgynous characters when one dub has a more like femme and one has a more like mask that shit makes me so happy it's so cool chat i love i love when they do that Yo, wait, okay, so for those of you who don't know, Reverse 1999's JP dub has a fucking insane voice cast. They really, really, like, go all out for uh, the voice cast in the JP dub. It's Natsuki Hanai. I don't know if you recognize the name, Zoo, but the JP voice cast is actually fucking insane for Reverse 1999. They pull a lot of A-listers. For reverse 1999's JP dub. Oh yeah, you can look at them here. So, you can see Verton is all of these characters. Uh, let me move myself out of the way so you can better see this. Uh, wait, it might be better if I do this. And move myself here. Yeah, Natsuki Tanai is a uh, medicine pocket. They, yeah, they really pull a lot of A-listers, like, Sonetto is... I don't know, recognize any of Sonetto's. All of these for Regulus. Uh, X is voiced by the same guy who does Rui from Project Sekai. Medpoc is uh, Tanjiro. We just heard Tanjiro. 
NN Lee is uh, Metal from Black Clover. That's the one I recognize. Uraraka from My Hero. Yaimiko. She's also Yaimiko. Yeah, NN Lee is ya Yaimiko. That's what I'm saying. Like, they pull really, really high profile actors for this game in Japanese dub. Like, Click is Meruim and Tomura and Toge and Razor. Like, it's insane the kind of, like, talent that they pulled for, like, this game in, uh, in JP. Click is Razor. Yeah, Click's Razor. He's also Meruim from fucking Hunter x Hunter. The Chimera Ant King, you know? And Toge from JJK and Tomura, or Shigaraki rather, from My Hero. The JP dub is really fucking stacked. Shenha is DK. Soul from Soul Eater. I just started Soul Eater the other day because my girlfriend really wanted to watch it. Oh yeah, Saber. Saber is also DK. You see that? Yeah, Saber. So I'm telling you, if you guys have the time, like go through the Japanese like voice cast because it is really fucking top tier. It's incredible. Fucking Aizen from Bleach is a night. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like it's insane. The voice talent that they pulled for the Japanese dub. Oh, Ichia from fucking <laughs> from fairy tale. A lot of people don't. There's not a lot of attention that's called to this for some reason, but, like, the JP's, like, voice cast is incredibly, incredibly, like, all heavy hitters. That's really loud. We'll go through a couple more, but, uh, uh, Power, or Jolene from JoJo, is, uh, Eternity. I don't recognize any of Charlie's. All of these, I don't... I, again, I don't recognize any of these for, for Matilda. All of this. Oh, Angel Devil and Norman is Miss New Babel. Let's see. Oh, Fischl. Fischl is New Babel. Look at that. Rem and Hestia are Balloon Party. So yeah, really, really good like voice cast that no one really like goes into for some reason. But yeah, the Japanese voice acting is uh, is pretty fucking stacked. Eternity being a fucking goblin like power, it's kind of insane the the like the range on these voice actresses. They do lack the accents though. That's the main reason why I play the English dub. I play the English dub mostly, mostly because they mix in the, uh, the, the, like, the respective languages and the accents. Holy fuck, the voice cast is so goaded for JP. They, it's really fucking stacked. Warm-up time's almost over. I have to go. My coach is waiting for me for the punting exercise. Sorry, guys. Hope you find the store. Oh, okay. Bye, Spathody. <laughs> she didn't help out at all. Hey guys, the bipedal animal! It's the bipedal animal! <laughs> it's like what the game describes. It's the it's the it's the it's the, it's the bipedal animal. <laughs> the next part? Wait, what's gonna happen next? The girl is setting out again. Her crisp voice overlaps the approaching shot. Are they? Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, someone's at the corner. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead! They're dead, Chet! Chat, they're dead! They're dead! How could this happen? They're dead! They're dead! How could this happen? This is so sad. Alright, everyone. Pack it up. It's time to go home. Game's done. Stream's over. <laughs> That was a great, that was a great event. What a great 1.5 story event. 
Man, I'm really glad I streamed this for you guys. <laughs> okay. Hiya. What the f- Hiya. Hello? Confusion and weak pulse. We have to take her to Laplace. I... <sighs> Is she spontaneously combusting? Hello? Destroyed by a thick minimum wage worker. This is so sad. Truly, truly a tragedy for our time. I'm fine. I'm always fine. Ugh. Tossing and turning. Oh, that's it? Oh. <laughs> Tossing and turning. That's the whole description. All right. What happened to me? Did I really break some part of myself? What part of the human body do you have to break to start spontaneously combusting, chat? Like, if I break my knee left kneecap, am I going to start spontaneously combusting? Pretty much she's just spontaneously combusting throughout the entire story, and she doesn't catch anything on fire? Like, this entire room looks extremely flammable. According to Spongebob rules. What's the what's the what's the one guy from SpongeBob? Every day I, I every day I wake up I break my arms and I break my leg. <laughs> my bones are made of glass and my I don't remember the the line, but you guys know what I'm talking about. You don't have the fuel to spontaneously combust. You could do anything if you believe hard enough. Squidward just explodes for no reason. <laughs> Oh, that episode where he ate all the Krabby Patties. The episode where he ate all those Krabby Patties. Yo, he was kind of, he was kind of thick though. Like, why can why they draw him like that, chat? <laughs> and I got your thighs, and then you explode. <laughs> She's just Tom Goblin Human Torch. They said I passed out, huh. but it doesn't feel like that to me. My vest is dusty, but I don't feel any pain at all. She's becoming a god of a new era. She tosses around in bed, crumpling the bed sheet like watered up tissues. See, that should have lit the entire place on fire. Maybe I need more ice water. She gulps down some cold water. Actually, speaking of chat, chat, make sure you hydrate if you haven't had water. I'm going to do that right now, actually. I'll be right back. I, I didn't have water and my throat's dry as fuck. Yeah, remember to hydrate so that you don't lose your voice like me. Drink your water. Ooh, time to cause chaos. I'm back. I'm back. I'm just getting water. <laughs> Did you know hydration has 100% mortality rate in the long term? Did you also know that every single person who breathes oxygen also dies? Did you know that, Manny P? Did you know that? Did you know that, huh? <laughs> Everyone who drinks water will die someday. <laughs> Wait, can we swear? Yeah, just don't. Just keep it within TOS. If you drop like a slur or something, obviously we're gonna ban you. But you can you can swear within reason. Did you know that Spathodia is adorable? Yeah, she's cute. No, maybe it's hot tea that I need. Oh God. And takes a sip of boil hot of boiling hot black tea. Should have gone to that lab lettuce place with those lab lettuce. <laughs> Let me see. Their card is in. Wait, no. I've turned them down. If I go back to them, she's got abs. I'm jealous. That's. I mean, she's a boxer. It kind of makes sense that she's uh she's well she's pretty fit. She looks really light for a boxer though. 
She has to be in like featherweight class because there's no way she's going to anything above that. Besides, I bumped my head on the ground. She's a kid, is she? I'm feeling sick now. I'm sure this is just a coincidence. Okay, that makes sense. If she's a kid, then she has to be in like the kid league because there's no way she's going up against like because you see like if you pair her up against against someone like fucking mike tyson she's breaking every single goddamn bone she's not walking out of there alive <laughs> she's dead if she walks into the ring against someone like mike tyson how in the actual cue the reverse 1999 censorship did she not burn her tongue on boiling hot tea i think it's got something to do with her with like Spontaneously combusting. Nah, she could take Mike. Oh shit, you right. I didn't even think about that. Cause she could do the fire thing. <laughs> I seldom have junk food and never miss the training at school. I know my body well. It's healthy and tough. She says so to comfort herself, shaking her head and pulling out a photo album from under the pillow. I already took the medicine for stomach pain. Now just take a break and distract myself from it. The moment she opens the album, a breeze blows out from it. The smell is so <laughs> <laughs> You know that smell was musty as fuck. Why the fuck are you breathing that in? What is Penda? Chat, what the hell is a Penda? Wait. Penda. Wait, hold on. What is a penda? Penda meaning. Oh, here it is. Penda, an Australian timber tree of the family my my uh, Myra to say with exceptionally heavy hard wood. Okay, so it's a type of tree, I guess. Hi Doku Don on Valo. Good job. Hope you. Hopefully you dropped like. Did you get an ace? Did you ace? Hey, not the nerf day. What the fuck? <laughs> Old book smell, my beloved. The more you know, the more you know, chat. That already makes me feel much better. This just goes to show that this game is really well uh, researched. Cause who the fucking chat knew what a penda was? <laughs> Everyone has their own way to chill out. So does Fathadia. She eagerly draws in the breeze, running her finger along the edge of the photos. Uh, an Arcanist with rosy cheeks is flying on a broom, cheering for her victory. This is the first photo of my collection. Mom gave it to me for my fifth birthday. So does she just have like images of the Olympics? In 1884, branch vault was very popular amongst Arcanists. The Uluru Games that year had more trees than that in any other years. The Uluru Games? More like the Uru Games, am I right, chat? <laughs> in 1900, St. Pavlov Foundation took over the Uluru Games. Out of security concerns, they abolished one third of the events that involved dangerous actions and imposed a lot of regulations on the rest. Jones got first. Go back to the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Too early for cringe. You need to stop. Good one, streamer. Thank you. Thank you, Jarek. My, my, thank you. I know you got me. Um, Welcome, man. In 1938. Also, isn't it hella early for you, bro? What are you doing up this early? It was so successful. Almost everyone thought the games would be revived and brought back to the public. <sighs> Until... A slight sigh escapes her mouth. Now she's looking at the last page of the thin album. Oh god, what happened? I could see the Uluru Stadium with my own eyes again. Even for just a minute. Did someone die at the Uluru Games? What the fuck happened? <laughs> like how I used to host the opening ceremonies in there. Back then... I sit on the highest platform, igniting a flame. She looks so pure, chat. She looks so happy like a little child. It's so wholesome. We have to protect this, chat. 
We have to protect this at all costs. This 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 is just so wholesome. <laughs> at breakfast with family, watching a skeleton make uwu jokes on my cell phone. Oh god. Oh god. Well. She is a child still. I I'm just I'm saying we gotta protect this face. We have to protect. We have to protect spe well, she could probably protect herself, but like this is just it's such a wholesome like expression. It's so wholesome. But the flame had a fight with me. I trembled with anger because she was such an unreasonable blockhead. The flame had a fight with me? She fought fire? My sight? My sight? I'd spar him. You would get absolutely fucking obliterated, money P. <laughs> she would lay you the fuck out. Spathodia unconsciously scratches her chest and then her throat. Oh god, what the fuck? Did I just say something? What are these things doing in my head? Are they illusions? Oh god, she's going insane. When did I go to the desert? Since when did I? What the f what the fuck? <laughs> A warm touch of itch climbs from her stomach to her chest, squeezing itself out of her windpipe. What the fuck is going on? Like a bird fluffing its damp feathers, struggling its way- What the fuck? What? Hello? Is she dying? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, she's literally coughing fire. Um. <laughs> she looks so panicked. The arson scene? Oh no. Mom never told me I'm a furry. If she's a descendant of the red dragon, as she says, right? Wouldn't she be a scaly? What the so fucking goofy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, let's just let's just move on. <laughs> My god. Man, I'm dead. Monopoly, true. This is how Monopoly destroys friendships. You have to be so careful, chat. Oh, we're at Laplace now. What's going on here? Now. Let's summarize what happened. He fell into a coma for 16 minutes and 30 seconds yesterday due to external impact. Then you woke up and found yourself fine. That's right! Yep, we're at lap lettuce chat. On that night, he felt an unusual burn. Coming Here comes a F-bomb? At the same time, you had weird illusions. And at last... What do you mean the F-bomb? A ball of fire. Yes, that's right, exactly! For one last time, are you sure no one in your family is related <laughs> to the Red Dragon? Oh my god. 100% positive. I checked all the family photos and medical records and even rang mum and dad. They denied every possibility of it. She's so eager. It's so wholesome. The symptom is really rare to see. How do they... How do they diagnose, like, arcanists? With how, like, with how vast, like, a different each arcanist is, how the fuck do they, like, diagnose them? I know. So, don't walk away on me. Desert Flannel is literally me. Each of her hands clenches one wrist from the other. Wait, what? Each of her hands clenches one wrist from the other two, joining them together like a floating boy, boy line in a swimming pool. 
Am I stupid? What is this trying to say? <laughs> is she saying she grabbed a wrist from Desert Flannel and a wrist from Verton and then like dragged them together? Are you really buying that? I don't doubt it. Then you're up there. So nice. What? Would have lost all your clothes to any rotter that comes up to you if you wandered long enough on the street. What the f- <laughs> A fucking donut is crazy, bro. Fucking donut is insane. Hello? We barely knew you for all of like two minutes. Hello? Are you okay? God damn, she don't fuck around yet. <laughs> Can you bless me so I can win the 50-50 and get early pity? I really need it. I bless you with early 50-50. With early 50-50 and a spathodia to come home to. Yeah, I'm streaming kind of early, uh, Leviathan. You know, I just wanted to see if my audience liked the earlier streams more. I might be doing this from here on out, so we'll see how this goes. Also, welcome in. Welcome in. Yeah, I know you're Ollie. I just didn't know if you wanted me to call you that. <laughs> yeah, you mean this smidge of zombie fire? You reckon this is the first time an arcanist sees it? Can get you 20 of these in two days in any workshop. You gotta try harder if you wanna fool me. Damn, she's like, she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> also, is Desert Flannel's VA actually Australian? Irritated by the skepticism, she shoves the fire. What? She sh she puts the fire back into her mouth. Are you psychotic? See, it doesn't burn me at all. What the fuck's bad to do? <laughs> you frauds never stop coming up with new scams. No cheat, no eat. Heard that before? Go home with your fake fire. If you continue doing this, be careful of the bunyips. They will crawl into your house through the sewerage and take your tongue because lies are their favorite food. What the fuck is a bunyip? Hold on, okay. Bunyip, a legendary wild animal usually described as a monstrous swamp, swamp dwelling man eater or imposter or phony. What the fuck? This is like... This game is too well researched, because what the hell? None of us knew what that was. Stop sending the fucking nerd emoji, Zoo. <laughs> Stop! I, I have to know. I have to know. Like, like, I have to understand what's going on. Quit 37, bro. <laughs> but there is no evidence to prove that she is telling a lie. Evidence? I have more than enough- Stop it, chat. I'm not a nerd. I'm cool. I'm cool. That's why I'm a streamer. Bunyip's feast on rumors. Interesting. He climbed up the tree outside my window and was shouting and screaming there in the middle of the night. The moment I went outside, <gasps> she took me here like she was carrying a bag of groceries. One may infer that she was shocked by the fire vomiting and thus displayed abnormal behaviors okay so like she climbed up a tree in the middle of the night woke up desert flannel and dragged her to to laplace that's fucking insane what the fuck if that ever happens to you chat you put a restraining order on that person that's that's psychotic Don't you have adults at home to put some senses in your head? Haven't they taught you not to trust the stranger's words? Especially if they show up at late hours? Well, shit, I didn't expect this to happen. Hey, Taylor, good to see you here. He's more like 210. Uh, I actually go by they, them. So just keep that in mind. Oh but God! You shouldn't have forgotten me. We are neighbors, Desert Flannel. I live three streets away. I even said hello to you. She does not care. Three streets away. 
How does it make us neighbors? <laughs> that's true. That's true. What the fuck? Fancy community where people sit by the white fountains and walk in the street gardens. The last time I checked, I was not from some rich immigrant family. Wait, so is... Is Pathody an immigrant? No matter what you're looking for, for money or for fun, I couldn't care less about it. The only thing I care about is that my landlord will kick me out if I fail to pay rent this month. So let me go! Damn, she's so real for that, though. That's so real, though. <laughs> That's too fucking depressing. Desert Final Struggles pulls her arm out of the grip and storms off. No, you mustn't leave. Spathia jumps up from the sofa and grabs Desert Flannel's collar roll, but loses her balance. Oh god. Like toppling dominoes, the three of them fall over each other and tumble down on the ground. Uh, I think I just nicked you in the teeth. That's such a a mild reaction to falling. Ah. <laughs> when you fall over and eat shit. Ah. <laughs> you must not leave. At least, not before I figure out what happened to me. Things are flashing in my mind now. Sometimes the past, sometimes the present. I remember I can sing, but soon I forget how to do that. She's so well animated. I remember the crowd who worshipped me on their knees. The run in somewhere like the Uluru Stadium. Something hot. A hot bonfire? It's anyway, no matter what it is, I'm just an ordinary person like anyone else living at the end of the century. These things shouldn't be in my mind. I don't know, man. I, vomiting fire doesn't exactly strike me as like a normal person thing, Spathodia. It kind of it kind of feels like you're something's going on. There must be something wrong with me. With my head or other parts. I can't just go nuts now. My training plan, it's, it's all ruined. I even have a game to play at the end of the year. Wait, what, where's the, actually, where did the fire go? Am I stupid? Relax. Did she because swallow the fire? Marks. Sensing omens doesn't always mean danger to arcanists. Given the complexity of the situation, I think you need a more detailed physical examination to find the crux. We will help you and take care of you until you completely recover. Fires on the couch. She swallowed it enormous. back into her stomach. Everyone's giving different answers. I don't. I don't really know where it is. Thank goodness. Aggressive mouse clicking. Oh yeah, can you hear this? Can you hear this? Oh, it is picking up on the mic. Oh shit. <laughs> um. Wait, I have to adjust the the filters. Very much. <laughs> oh god. Ah oh, well, you're gonna have to deal with it. Both my mom and dad aren't home right now. I'm on my own. It's all over for me if the condition gets worse. At least that's how it goes in the TV. So fucking li really? Huh. Flannel is the perfect embodiment of how a real person would react in these situations. Too much bullshit to care. Yeah, if you know if you're like if you're trying to if you're trying to like, you know, pay rent, I feel like this would also be like a realistic like jump to the worst interaction. Question. Follow me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Spathidia wipes off the tears in her eyes and keeps up with Verton, but soon they both stop and turn back to the one still on the sofa. <sighs> <laughs> Flannel does not give a shit. What? What are you staring at? She's having a body checkup. Do I have to tag along? You're going to sneak away for those part-time jobs, aren't you? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fine, genius. You win. I mean, this is like... It is like in the middle of the night. I wouldn't blame Desert Flannel for wanting to go the fuck home. Murmuring something, Desert Flannel unwillingly follows the team. You're with the suitcase. Do you know how I can get a job here? Looks like they pay their employees well. Doku, use a space bar, have mercy. Okay. Is that better? <laughs>
No, worse. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you guys really did not like the space bar. Holy shit. <laughs> What the fuck? I got an Indian ad? Really? Ad attack. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, pause, 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 pause. Don't. No, no. I'm gonna wait for everyone to come back. Here is Miss Spathagia's physical examination. All right. Let's wait till everyone comes back. Uh, to continue. Let me know when you're back from the ads chat. Uh, wait. Let me know when you guys are back from the ads. So for those of you who aren't in the ads, how you guys doing? You guys having a good day? You guys uh having fun? Back, 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 back. No ads here yet. Okay, okay, okay. It seems like overwhelming majority we're back. We're so back. I just woke up. Good morning. Good morning, Ollie. We're so back, gamers. How sweet. They even got you the Salvia Zoppa clone patches. What the fuck is that? What is Zoppa clone? Okay. Zoppa clone. Zoppa clone is a medication used to treat a sleeping problem called insomnia. Oh, so it's insomnia pills. Jesus Christ. the illusions get too real and you can't sleep use them if the illusions get too real and you can't holy shit okay. okay thanks but i need to ask my coach if i can use it okay ollie you gonna go take a nap con no it's not a condom it's not a fucking condom guys <laughs> don't worry it's been approved by the therapeutic she straight up gave her edibles animal. The ingredients include Jesus <laughs> and a hallucination potion. They can neutralize the side effect perfectly. Why is Medpoc here actually? Were they there just for the mushroom research? The researcher opens the girl's medical record, takes off the patch sticking to the cover, and slides it to the girl. Actually, you're quite the lucky one, you know. What does that mean? What do you mean by that? Shows there used to be stairs where you fell down with over a hundred steps. Thank goodness you live in the <laughs> Oh my god! You would have tumbled all the way down there. Jesus! It's a little morbid. Medpoc wanted their frisbee. Jesus. Could you imagine Spathodia like runs into desert flannel and then just tumbles down like fucking three flights of stairs? <laughs> Why does Spathodia remind me of a Kara Ori or Aoi? I is Sheena, depending on who you think she is. I don't really know what that means. Maybe MP is just helping. Trying, I think. No one can tell what you would vomit, fire, or maybe something even worse. Hmm. Hmm. Medicine Pocket's voice dies down like a flame being blown out. Muted for a while, Medicine Pocket briskly collects the files on the table and walks towards the door. Wait here. I need to get someone. Oh, okay. A weirdo for sure. Yeah, a weirdo for sure. Damn, not them calling the weird them a weirdo. Like, what the fuck? Who are you calling in that they're a weirdo? All right. I think that's the last thing I'd like to hear from a doctor. Would you just let go of my hand, Sheila? Or the good doctor here will have to cut. Sheila, why is she calling? Necrosis. Why is she calling Desert Flannel Sheila? Also, if spatula fell down, she'd need to roll a d6 damage dice. Nah, she'd be prone. She has to do a death saving throw, bro. <laughs> I do wonder if there are slurs for Arcanus. Like, human is a slur for mankind. That makes sense. I'd imagine with how, like, racist people are towards, like, the Arcanus, there would be slurs. <laughs> Aussies call people Sheila? Really? Sheila is slang for a woman. Sheila means girl slash woman, so I guess it means like girly. What the 
Dude, there's so much, like, research that goes into this dialogue. We're learning so much. How did they, like, how did they, like, sit down and write this? Like, a lot, I don't think this game gets enough credit for, like, how much research goes into the, the dialogue and trying to make it as authentic as you can, or as they can. Uh, I will, but can I hold it for another five minutes, please? I'm sort of nervous. Oh, she's she's so nervous. Oh, she's she's oh, oh she's all sad. Oh, it's okay. Oh, the dev put the heart in this game. It feels like it. Welcome in, Snow. Reverse 1999. The educative and unhinged gotcha game for real, bro. That's right. Breathe in, breathe out, then unbend the fingers. I'm also human, I feel pain too, sweetheart. Then on the, the fingers, I'm also human, I feel pain too. <laughs> She's like, let go of my fucking hand already. The footsteps of the mysterious guests coming from the hallway are getting closer and closer. I can't believe how lucky I am. Oh, hi, Ezra. I've seen a living case for decades. This is exciting. Thank you for letting me know about this. Message. There he is, chat. There he is. Not at all, Ezra, my dear friend. See, I always keep you and your weird little mushrooms at the back of my mind. So it'd be best if you could give them to me without leaving any records in Laplace's system next time. Uh, the fuck? <laughs> why do you? Why? Why? Why without any trace? Anyway, we can talk about that later. Now. Go check out the girl. She might be very useful for your paper on Arcana. Of course. I'll tend to her in a moment. Yeah, why are they so sketchy? What does he want? What do they want those mushrooms for, bro? I've been waiting for this for too long. The damn femboy got me again. <laughs> Ezra turns directly to Spathodia. What? Getting hot. Actually, that makes sense. With how much Medpock likes to research on himself, it would make sense. Breaking Bad? <laughs> Ezra, Ezra, we have to cook. <laughs> Ezra, we need to cook. <laughs> Do you know who I am, Ezra? <laughs> I am the danger. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> The young researcher walks there as steady as a boat floating on the water, smiling. Me? You mean me? <laughs> I am the one who barks. <laughs> Certainly, Miss Spathodia. I came for you. Man, we've been I streaming for an hour. And, had a basic understanding and we're still very far away <laughs> from the end of the story. Here's a list summarizing all the conditions. It's still a draft, but... Please, take a look. She sees a list with dense writing and ink that has barely dried. Since your condition okay. is stabilized, and as a teenager, you're still in a developmental stage, I'd recommend you to run a test which is more friendly and pleasant to your nerves. What? Since your condition has stabilized and you're still in a de as a teenager, you're still in a developmental stage, I'd recommend you run a test which is more friendly and pleasant what does that mean ezra grabs a y-shaped metal rod and a piece of cotton like material and holds them in his palm now please blink three times at this dowsing rod and blow on it as lightly as possible i wonder how ezra remembers all of this he's very intelligent well, what's this oh no not like that just be gentle with it Lower your voice so uh, that you don't blow away the spores on the filter. What is that? The white filter paper almost touches the tip of her nose. She can't say no to such a gentle and soft request like that. So she closes her eyes, lowers and lowers her voice, and repeats the instruction to herself. Uh, okay. Blink three times and blow. The fluorescent spores on the filter paper curl immediately and turn a cheery ember color. And we're going to roll it up 
up and fix it on the dowsing rod. Ha! Huh. Now time will do its magic. Such a it's so wholesome. I understand they're just doing a test, but it's kinda it's kinda wholesome. The kids are getting along. Wait, is that the, the smell of mushroom? It is related to mushrooms, and I'm not a doctor. This is such a cute moment. Nothing bad will happen. Please what? forgive me, Miss Spathodia. I was so overjoyed I forgot to introduce myself. Hello. I'm Hello. Hello. I have to ask, do Australians actually like talk like that? Do they actually go hello? Like have the R? Researcher at the Laplace Australia branch. Oh nah, he's doing the nerd emoji. <laughs> he's doing the nerd emoji! No! No! Ezra, no! <laughs> yes, they do. Okay. Yeah, my friend's Australian. Hello. The other one I've heard is Maccas. Want to get some brekkies at Macca? <laughs> Doku speaking in cursive. What do you mean? Ezra Redditor confirmed. <laughs> my, my, uh, my karma score is over 20,000. I don't know what a good karma score is on Reddit, but. You're I have a, a Just a researcher and a human. I have a very meticulous, I have a very meticulous method of karma farming. <laughs> Rumble Town, Grayson uses Halar. Do they? I don't, I don't think Grayson's, like Grayson's accent is not like that thick at all. So I can't tell with them. I know they say Nar sometimes, but I thought that was ironic. And you're working on mushrooms? That's right. It's a shame that I didn't become a member of the Arcane Study Team, but I'm equally interested in mushrooms. I enjoy this job. Spathidia turns pale, holding her face, and steps back in horrid disbelief. So, they get you here to treat me, which means... What does that mean? I'm not a descendant of the Red Dragon, but that of mushrooms? I'm a fire-breathing mushroom? How the fuck did you get that to the conclusion? <laughs> How the fuck did you get to that conclusion, Spathodia? What? No, I'm not here to diagnose your abnormality, Miss Spathodia. You're perfectly healthy. Your brain CT. Oh God! All I can see is the nerd emoji whenever he fucking points his finger up like that. <laughs> You're almost one of the healthiest people I've ever seen. Ha! Huh, finally, someone has a sharp eye. Kids are unhinged. They just kind of say shit. <laughs> Unraveled. There has never been any illusion, nor is anybody putting on some strange, absurd, fire-spitting show. And... But she did not lie. Please, take a look at this. According to the analysis, the core of a fire consists of an obsidian gravel that has 22 evenly distributed layers. I'm sorry? She had obsidian in her stomach? What the fuck? How did she have obsidian there? This is no modern thing. It's old. Dating back thousands of years. So you're telling me Spathodia was just carrying 22 layers of obsidian in her stomach? What the fuck? What, what do you mean? Whose side are you on? Um, have I made it difficult for you to understand? Well, you'll know when you see it. Please bear <laughs> Minecraft mention? <laughs> Twenty-two obsidian. That's more than enough to make another portal. <laughs> um, actually, holding the metal rod, Ezra switches the buttons on the machine. The moss in the backpack exhales, letting out a cloud of mist. Have you heard of the reincarnators? Gravel is a kind of dirt, not the rock obsidian. But they said it was obsidian gravel. So like. Like sand, I guess. At least it's better than the uwu jokes. Hey, what? Hey, I thought that was pretty fucking funny, chat. All right, I thought that was pretty fucking funny. I saw Uluru, I'm like, I could change one letter and be really funny, chat. God damn it, the ad. Okay, I'll wait. I don't want people to miss what's going on. Mm. 
We are looking at you, Doku. <laughs> Doku, this is the first step. You're becoming a furry. I'm not gonna become a furry. I'm not gonna become a furry. But I want to be a femboy. Personal goal of mine. How the fuck am I a sec late? <laughs> Welcome in. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> Not money, P. <laughs> what do you mean by that, bro? That's the dream? Yeah, that's the dream. That's the dream chat. Or it's my dream, at least. I wouldn't know if it's... A, I don't think it's anyone else's dream. <laughs> I can help you with that goal. I'll be reaching out eventually. It's one of the Arcanus lineages, a rare kind. Since this power can only be randomly triggered, and its manifestation could happen anywhere, anytime, and in any fashion, it is hard to identify them when there is one. I said Ad is done, continue. I saw it the first time, calm down, I was talking to chat. You don't get to dictate how I control stream. Settle down there, buddy. Now wear the maid outfit. <laughs> the most well-known case must be Dorothy of London. Time to animate Doku in that one femboy meme. Okay, you don't you don't got you don't gotta do that, but like <laughs> she fell down the stairs in her own house and lost every vital sign. But she woke again and became the ancient Egyptian Bentrashid. The fuck is a what the fuck is that? Okay, wait. Ben shit. Okay, here we go. Dorothy Louise Eady was born in London in 1904 as the only child to Reuben Ernest Eady, a master tailor born in Woolwich. At the age of three, after falling down a flight of stairs and briefly appearing to be dead, she began exhibiting strange behaviors such as uh strange behaviors asking that she be brought home she also developed a foreign accent syndrome this caused some conflict in her early life her sunday school teacher requested that her parents keep her away from class because she had compared christianity with heathen ancient egyptian religion this is a real case chat oh my god wait this is a real case she's referring to a or He's referring to a real case that happened. So after falling down a flight of stairs, she became Egyptian? The story written by Eity took up around 70 pages of cursive hieroglyphic text. It described the life of a young woman in ancient Egypt called Bentrashit, who reincarnated as Dorothy Eady. What the fuck? This is a real, this is a real event. I'm reading the Wikipedia article. Jesus Christ, that's really cool. I'm a furry in my past life. All right, guys. <laughs> You're not saying that she's... Miss Spathodea is a reincarnator. Those so-called illusions are not a result of any brain damage. They were once real. It's her past. Based on the past cases, she'll go through a period of mental turmoil. That could be short or longer than anyone could expect. But eventually, she will become herself. Welcome back, Aki. The old self. She's not schizophrenic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that the are just some lousy made-up tabloid stories. That's right. Sensationalism. That's the mainstream opinion about the reincarnators. Interesting. In Dorothy's case, her experience of learning Egyptian and her career as an archaeologist also caused controversies over her true lineage, which is understandable since people haven't seen a reincarnator in years. But at the beginning of the 20th century, when Dorothy fell down the stairs, which decided her fate, Laplace Scientific Computing Center established its Australia branch, carrying out studies of local fungi. I'm not really sure how that connects to that. 
Our reverse 1999 is just a way to get us to learn history after we failed in school. Low key? Uh, low key kind of is, because like this shit's interesting to see how like deep of a cut they go with in order to get like their background and things. It's genuinely so fucking cool. <laughs> I ain't reading all that. <laughs> and it has been secretly developing next to the public since. Like the Australian honey fungus. Growing without getting anyone's attention. Getting getting Don't anyone's attention. Themselves. Please allow me to prove it to you. Medicine pocket. Could you please turn off the lights for us? And people still skip the story? Honestly, I kinda skipped the story. So like I I'm 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 also, you know, guilty of that. The poles of that metal fork sway in the dark room, letting out a buzzing sound. Like a bee floating in the air. When we talk about reincarnation, the real question behind it is whether the soul exists. Because the soul is commonly considered to be the essence of what makes a person who he or she is. If a person dies, his or her soul will return to the ever circulating network. All right. Network? What network? Medpoc plays gloomy music.mp3. <laughs> Theory developed from Riemann's on the hypotheses which underlie geometry describe the world as an eternal, vast, invisible yet ubiquitous net. Is this a real thing? It's a real thing. Jesus fucking Christ. It's a real thing. God damn. A new story described. A reincarnator. It's a miracle that a soul disappears from point A and shows up at point B without any clear reasons. Exactly, Miss Verdon. I'm amazed that you know so much about the reincarnators. The sparkling spores floating in the human air slowly approach each other and intertwine. That report described the reincarnation is incomprehensible and spontaneous. But the truth is, we've never gotten close enough to observe and study them. The occult references in Reverse 1999 are really baffling. It just, like, it's really deep cut. It's just like, holy fuck, how did they... How much research went into this? Like, it makes me wonder, like, how long one patch takes in terms of, like, all the fucking research that goes into it. Spathy looks upwards and can't help from letting out a small cry. Oh, that's such a pretty. That's so pretty. The neural network I read in the textbook. Oh, that's such a That's such a pretty screenshot. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, I like that. I just, hold on. He looks so happy. You have a sharp sense. You arcanus never cease to amaze me. The latest studies have shown that the working mechanism of mushroom flora may be similar to the brains, and we have made some progress from that. Wow. This is why the study of mushrooms is important. It enriches our understanding of the reincarnators, for they are hard to find. Man, I won't blame you if you think Ezra is female from this clip. I mean, he's kind of ambiguous enough to be like, meh, hard to say. Mushrooms? Hyper corn bloom's wig. Welcome in. They're so pretty, so pretty. They are there are billions and billions of spores. There are billions and billions of neurons. Real. The Australian honey fungus. The mushrooms living beneath the ground. It's a pathogenic gem that causes roots to rot. It was first discovered in a eucalyptus plantation in southeastern Australia. At the end of the 1970s, Laplace researchers who intervened in the local environment protection found that, unlike other fungi which reproduce through the spreading of spores, the honey fungi spread by the growth of their underground mycelia all over the forest. Huh. Interesting. Wait, what did I miss in chat? Wait, what did I, what did I miss in chat? What are, we, what are we talking about here? Hold on, let me scroll up. There is a theory the mother Verton saw was her future self. Oh! So Verton is the mother. Interesting. 
No, I'm not looking up the mushroom. I, it's probably real. DK is no longer androgynous thanks to her new skin, her new sweaty skin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A net hiding underground in which you see an object disappear at point A and magically emerge again at point B. The reincarnators are very similar to Australian honey fungus in this aspect. It's an interesting comparison. A, breath, a small amount of her saliva and the She's the mother all the along. <laughs> what if the and grandma the narration voice is future Verton, but she's like recalling old like uh old, old memories? That's cool. What? Isn't that a ghost fungus? Yes, the ghost fungus. The mushrooms that glow in the dark. They're called Chinga in older times. Chinga. Which means spirit and soul. The Interesting. Of ideas in human minds. If the mushroom has simulated Spathodea's net, then these two light spots are the one closer to us represents the current Miss Spathodea, and the father and brighter one is what put her through the changes now. Oh. Now. That's me in the past? And I. I will gradually turn into. Huh? Chinga is similar to Chingar, which is which means fucking Spanish. Yeah, I did hear that a lot. <laughs> Five minutes. We are right on time. Miss Desert Flannel, how do you feel? Damn it! If she's so badly injured, how much would the compensation be? Is this how my life will be? Being heavily in debt? <laughs> no, Desert Flannel. Desert Flannel, you're nibbling at your nails. You will get hurt from it. Please stop. Me? I I'm fine. Oh, Jesus Christ, my alarm. You were saying? Yes, I was asking how you Yes. Were Did you get my drift? I... I think. Well, I know it's highly unlikely that this little girl was hatched from a dragon's egg, but... Is it I don't know why it went off at 8.30. Yeah, that scared me too. Ancient ones? Any... Anything but oh shit, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Wake up, you're, you're in a coma. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> but what you said doesn't make sense. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? There was fire coming out of her mouth. Desert Flannel points at the fire placed on the couch, which is still burning, and shakes her digital pet machine. And my only family here is a pixel in you. Does it make sense to you? What was that alarm for? To wake up. <laughs> To wake up and uh work on stuff i know this is not your fault it's just your arcanist nature taking over it's very normal if you got too carried away by your emotions and became delusional and hysterical opinion on a9 x mr apple i ship it i ship it please take my hand you <laughs> will mention Wonder High. <laughs> Me? I'm not hysterical. Hello, I'm Emma Otari. <laughs> Said the historical girl with the fence. Hey, hysterical, rather. You're not even one of us. Said the outraged bystander. Oh, is this what people were talking about? Wait, is this the the part, the arson part people were talking Everyone, about? Please, believe me that I meant you no harm, Miss Bathadia. I was only trying to help. Help? How? By calling us delusional? I am Emu Otori. Emu is meaning smile. <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than humans like you saying that others are over emotional. People. Oh God! Oh no! <laughs> no! Nothing like that, Miss Spathadia. It is not my intention to criticize anything or anyone. It's just biologically, arcanists tend to be more sensitive and easily affected. Maybe I'm an arcanist because I'm really sensitive to criticism. I also like <laughs> almost as much as I'm interested in mushrooms. That's why I study them. Do you smell something burning? Ezra is racist, confirm. 
before they realize that the flame placed on the couch has already devoured its seat and the floor is spread to the door and completely blocked their way out. The burning heat is approaching at a terrifying speed. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I tried to warn you. Oh God. It's grown larger and larger as your lizard hypothesis heated up. I'm sure the guards of Laplace will break in soon. Security of Laplace Research Center Hospital taking over. All patients and non-staff, please follow me to evacuate the room. That was such a calm voice. Evaluating fire level. Level two. Extinguishing the fire. Source of ignition confirmed. Request for permission to use kangaroo foam fire extinguisher. Three. Kangaroo foam fire three? Uh, wait, wait, wait. You can't put out my flame. It's important for me. Very, very important. I don't know why, but it's important. This is for sure. Those bubble kangaroos will kick its butt once they see the flames. I don't want that. Wait, are we actually going to be fighting bubble, bubble kangaroos? Don't, don't worry. The words being warped by the flames are such a cool detail. I've... Didn't even notice that. Holy shit. That's really cool. Literal kangaroo foam. Oh shit. Oh, we're actually fighting. Okay. Um. Let's just put up my star team real quick. Make quick work of it. Why are you here? Go away. Look at my back. Wait, this isn't kangaroo foam. They lied. Trust the auto. All right. Want to watch the aerial stunts? Auto wing. Uh -oh. Light work, no reaction. Light work, no reaction. <laughs> We've been scammed. There's no kangaroo foam. It's bullshit. <laughs> Ancient flame. Is this what she fucking coughed up? There you go. Now you're free from the fuzzy foam. My goodness. Um, I mean, thank you. Though I still smell like a joey. I smell like What's a joey. Now? Chat, do you also smell like a joey? In the early stages of arcane ability awakening, the rate of arcanus losing control can reach 74.3%. That's a really, really high percentage. That's a very fucking high percentage. And considering how deadly some of these abilities are, I don't think we want them to be losing control that consistently. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's terrifying. Could you imagine 37 losing control? Just like Genesis damage upon you, you know? Like, oh God. But it doesn't mean that you can set a fire in the clinic of the Laplace Research Center Hospital. Or fight the security to protect the flame. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this. And I have no idea why my flame grew so... So large all of a sudden. That never happened before. I'm asleep. It's midnight. See ya. All right. Good night, Forgotten Ghost. I, I should have been responsible and noticed the anomaly earlier. Whoa, play. Whoa, Genesis upon you. <laughs> lost in the argument. She buries her face in her hands and is still trying to bury it even deeper. The silver lining is, as the fire was still under control, they used the kangaroo foam fire extinguisher and thus it didn't cause any casualties. Please write down your emotional changes and physical reactions that occur. The concentration potion is on that table, and there are blankets in Type 2 PMMA safety boxes in the cabinet under the table. Please keep the hazard sealed. Okay. Got it. You are still in an unstable state. Please have a rest here and don't move around. If you need anything, please press the call bell on your left and our nursing staff will come to help. Can Voyager count as an Arcanist? We can check in a second. Imagine Voyager losing control. She's a space deity. Oh, that's true. Holy shit. Hmm. Well, in case we burn another room. <laughs> the box she mentioned is. Oh, I know Freedom met his little flame, but we have no choice. Sorry, buddy. 
I'm surprised how calm they are after a sort of big fire. Yeah, they nearly burned down the entire foundation, but you know, it's fine. Alright, listen. My teacher said fire needs oxygen to burn. So I'll leave a small window for you to breathe. Also, me need sleep. My mind beckons me to go shut eye now. Okay. I'm thinking about ending the stream as well because we're getting to two hours pretty soon. Oh, the fire talked. Holy shit. Yes. Oh, make it clear, little flame. Make it clear. Go back to <laughs> No, we're not going back. Never. Ah, fire. Far faster than expected, the flame spreads over her, and a cry for help fades into the burning. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> to be continued. Ubu Ubu Garmish Gamesmanch. <laughs> okay, wait, we're gonna check to see if, uh. We're gonna check to see if Voyager is an Arcanist, real quick. A supernatural work exhibited by the mid 20th century. So. Not Arcanist, it seems. Unknown whether she's, uh, what she is, uh. She's a supernatural work. The last time I was in the mood for a morning walk. Yeah? Yeah, the last time you wanted to go for a walk? Yeah? What about it? That's what I thought. Stupid. <laughs> Let the poor boy speak. All right. People who do screwdriving, juggling, tongue picking. So of course there are people dealing with fog. People who have hands should work, either for living, for self-achieving, or other things. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Let the poor boy speak. <laughs> Fatherless behavior. It shows. My beautiful wilderness. Look at this chat. A work of art. Anyway. <laughs> Wanna play dodgeball with Louisa? Um, alright. Uh, I think we can do one more stage of the... Chat. Chat, do I do a multi right now? Do I do a multi right now? I really just want Ulu. I really just want to start building Ulu. I will save the rest of the pulse for Spathodia, but I really want Ulu. No, wait till the VA stream. Don't do it. Don't wait. No, wait for the VA. Yeah, actually, sure. For the views, don't do it. Do it. You're sending me mixed signals here, chat. What do you want? What do you want from me? No. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll save it. Imagine they get spath in the first 10. I think I would cry. Make a poll? Can I make a poll on YouTube? How do I make a poll on YouTube? Uh, type one in chat if you want me to pull. Type two if you don't want me to pull. Go. When the carrier has two or more positive stat buffs, uh, damage dealt plus eight percent when attacking. When the carrier uses a buff incantation, gain attack plus two stacks up to two times. 
Oh shit, everyone wants me to pull. Alright, we'll do one multi. We'll do one multi. Come on, Ulu! Are you Ulu? Nope, that's not it. Ah. Ah, no Ulu. <laughs> oh well. That's all right. That's all right. Told you you'll regret it. I mean, I still have 58 plus whatever I get from here. And then when this resets, so like, I'm chilling, bro. Again? <laughs> Again? Do I chat? Because, let's see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 18 pity right now. Is it guaranteed? No, it is not guaranteed. <laughs> I only have 16 pity. Again, again? Alright. We'll go again. Damn. I didn't get it. <laughs> that was 26. We didn't get Ulu. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting Ulu with this one, boys. <laughs> okay, we stopped there. All right, all right. No more. We're done. We'll do one more story stage, and then... Uh, and then we'll see, and then we'll probably end the stream. Guess streamer luck doesn't apply to Doku. What's new? What's new? I lost the 50-50 for six. <laughs> Oh, are we at Green Lake? Oh, we're not. It's just the same background. Is this the La Paz fashion of dealing with emergencies? <laughs> she actually just has foam. Uh, she has foam uh, kangaroos on her. I swear, if anyone walks past us now, schoolers or Darrow's, I will be instantly killed by their silent judgment. What the fuck is a schooler or a Darrow? As a matter of fact, when the patient or the subject becomes unstable during contact, it is necessary to isolate them from the triggering cause immediately. This episode is fire, but literally. Just the <laughs> no, please don't, please don't, please don't, don't jinx me losing my 50 50 on this path to the industry. Please don't jinx it. I can't, I can't go through another incident like that, man. Please. <laughs> No wonder head nurse Judith was so angry. Darrow, disheveled or unkempt person? Okay. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Do you guys see that? Do you see the fucking kangaroo on Burton's nose punching her? <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> Yo, she is not happy, bro. <laughs> She's not fucking happy. Oh, that's that's funny. They did not have to add that level of detail, but they did. <laughs> that kangaroo is punching your nose. Oh, this is such a cute screenshot. So is the kangaroo. So is the kangaroo. I'm okay. Sure medicine pocket will bring us the concentration potion soon. They better. We look like a bunch of kangaroos, feel like kangaroos, and even ugh, smell like kangaroos. Dude, Desert Flannel's VA is really good. We will make tomorrow's headline of the Australian Naga and become the three kangaroos hanging out on a public lawn at midnight. That'd be the end of our social lives as humans and the beginning of a life as kangaroos. Desert Flannel's VA is really good. Ah, Holy I shit. See. Please, don't worry. Although it's true that Medicine Pocket is a frequent celebrity on the news, the concentration potion is not their work. Besides, we didn't use anything new in its development. Kangaroo be like Ryder when Burton is Senator Armstrong standing here. I realized. I don't worry about that guy. I 
Just like me trying to make history. I didn't know you were famous. I'm not. It's just that someone wants my name spread in a bad way. Ugh, trust me, you should never piss off the paparazzi. What the fuck did you do? You should turn to the police for help. Yeah, yeah, just shut up and keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Jesus Christ. He'll toss his shoes on the power lines if I find him here. Can we get an eye tracker? Why? Miss Desert Flannel, watch your back. What are those paparazzi? She caught on fire? Is this fire? Lake, I, I can't swim. There are people shouting, feet running, sparks fly. This stupid kangaroo kicked me in the eye. Move, move. Burton doesn't give a shit. Burton's chilling. She has no idea. Wait, calm down. You are not in danger. She is. Are you joking? I was getting burned. Hmm? Huh? There's nothing on my skin. Wait. Who who's the other one? The unwanted visitor stands in front of them, panting as if she's burning from her body temperature. Her golden reflection sways in water like real flames. Yo! Yo! Wait, she looks sick! Wait, that looks sick as fuck! Wait, Spanthony looks sick, sick as hell! Holy shit! Rice. Holy shit, that's so cool! Uh, it didn't cause any damage on me. Just burning the foam on my skin. Is that some new- But what is Miss Spathodia doing here? The Gosh, mate, she's on fire! Did she even remotely- Time to make barbecue. Me? Do we have to beat up Spathodia? Rice like a deal. Sipping on the red soil where vines and woods grow. Oh my god, she looks so cool! The glare and heat rush through her like waves. Spathodia engulfed in flame approaches desert flannel with fiery eyes, mouth, heart, and body, and takes her into her arms. Mm. Did they? Uh, <laughs> she's as well heated as a boiling pot. We can't let her go on like this. Her brain is going to be roasted in that little head. <laughs> is she the only character who like semi consistently drops f bombs? <laughs> Putting Spathody on. Uh, strives to get out of her control, patting Spathody on the cheeks with her cold hands. Concrete number two with cream is the best dish in pipe material. Is she sleepwalking? Spathodia is suffering confusion. It's probably the She's high. Oh, nah. She's smoking that pack. <laughs> She's smoking that pack. No. No. Okay. Okay. Miss Burton, please step back. A mist with the color of turquoise blows toward the girls. What are you <coughs> I'm still here. Why does Desert Flannel keep getting hit with shit? <laughs> Soon both Desert Flannel's complaints and Spathodia's sleep talk quiet down. This is just some spores, Miss Desert Flannel. Worry not. Won't the s aren't spores highly flammable? They are the tranquilizer that the locals used to pacify animals and was once widely used among Arcanists. Ezra, I'm like 90% sure spores are very There's highly flammable. We can bring her back to. Uh! However, that fireball girl hits everyone in front of her, like knocking down all the pins in a row. A perfect bowling strike. Nice throw! <laughs> Please. We need the real games. This is where sportsmanship originates. Young people. Young. People. Wait, don't tell me we have to fight Spathodia. Young people need cats. Um, well, cat it is. <laughs> what the f what the fuck? Did I use the wrong mushroom? Miss Spathodia has become even more restless. Good job, Ezra. What about Miss Desert Flannel? Is she Ezra manages to get up looking at the turquoise green mist without dusting himself off. No, you didn't. 
She's behaving exactly the way you describe. Uh, Miss Desert Flannel? Oh god, what happened to Desert Flannel? <laughs> oh, she's baked out of her fucking mind! She <laughs> Their fierce friend with a smile on her face is rolling on the ground like a cat getting a high on ca Yeah, she's baked as hell. Holy fuck. <laughs> is Necrologist still bad? Necrologist is good. Especially for raid content. Necrologist is a good fourth if you need someone to help fill out your raid teams. Hello, it's my first time that I joined one of your, your streams. Welcome in, Schneider. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you here. How you doing today? The house for me? Holy shit, they're smoking that pack, bro. They're high as fuck. Does this mean I don't have to pay rent anymore? Oh god, they're gone. They're gone. This is how she has her mental break. Normal immediately. It won't take more than 5 minutes. But I think Miss Bethany is going to attack again. I'm good and you? I'm chilling. I'm having fun playing the story. Whoa, plague upon ye. The retrieval of the rock. Ugh. That Ezra Shroom pack. <laughs> the fire is getting stronger. Get down. Holy sh <laughs> Oh my god. We are running out of time. Let's deal with the burning issue first. Taking a deep breath, Ezra grabs the straps even tighter. I will. I will try my best. Just don't uh use spores, because that didn't work last time, guys. All right, we're in Melbourne. We're in the streets of Melbourne, Australia. All right, I kind of want to play this one normally. Control immunity. All right. The moment, the moment of silence. Until the torch is lit. Learn from silence. Try this. Oh. in our real world is far more absurd than what you see on my show. That was, uh... I think I overdid it a little bit. <laughs> Where am I? That was a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I thought you were... driven away. Welcome back to the land of the living. Duck, are you kidding? No, she's right there. She's fine. I remember it now. I, I just punched her a little bit. She's okay. Oh. It's the games. She raises one arm with all her strength and grasps the cuff of the girl standing in front of her. Games. What? What, Emmy? She's alive! She's right there! She's fine, chat. She's fine. I've heard what's going on. We will check if her organs are injured by the high temperature after returning to Laplace. Yeah, you just showed up now. Tomorrow after 11 a.m. Um, can we visit her? I thought you will send her to the wards on the 13th floor. Go with the flow when you can't fight it. We've now understood what will happen if we separate you and keep her alone someplace. I see. This is... The white ambulance drives away from the street. Goodbye! So, are you sure those mushrooms won't cause any damage to my brain and body? <laughs> lower IQ levels, lung diseases, or skin allergy? Oh, she's asking because she wants to take um, some home. If you think it's necessary, I will accompany you to Laplace for some follow-up checkups. Of course, you don't have to pay for the tests. The fee will be deducted from my salary. Please, don't worry about the money. Oh, she's just going to try to get a job from there, huh? I trust you. I don't need a kid to pay the doctor for me. Besides, it's embarrassing enough to be put down by mushrooms. Not to mention that I'll be giving that guy the story he craved if I was hospitalized. Carved. Carved. <laughs> oh, you mean the journalist following you? All right, I need to keep this on standby for when Ezra does that that nerd emoji pose again. Huh? 
Was that a flash? <sighs> Speak of the devil. What? What did they even censor? What? What? We? What did they even censor? Silently cursing, Desert Final scans the bush in the dark with a serious look on her face. Come out yourself! Don't make me force you. Beer. I. I don't think that's it. <laughs> Oh. Makua, don't you dare. Makua. This is between you and me. Bugger is also kind of a bad word. Really? I've told you long ago that one day I will make you feel the same misery that I did. I have been following you all the time. And this, this is the moment. moment. The moment of vengeance. This guy looks and sounds like a fucking Redditor. <laughs> <laughs> now... I have more than enough photos. Please make sure to use the correct the correct tag when you're posting a Discord Discord meme. As for these <laughs> other people, you didn't strike me as such a kind heart. Hear me person. out? What do you mean, Emmy? What do you mean, Emmy? What do you mean by hear me out? I didn't know you Hi Steamed, welcome to the stream. Let's see what tomorrow's newspaper has to say about this. Hey, great googly moogly! <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. Go on. He even has the fedora. That's what I'm saying! No! We can't let him get away! He has a photo of us! Is he your enemy? Mm, maybe arch enemy? What Ezra, Ezra now is not the time to... If you don't want to be one of the burning kangaroos on the headline tomorrow, shut up and start running! We have to stop him. I love me a good reporter. Okay. <laughs> I love I love me a good dilf. Okay. He does he doesn't he doesn't look like a dilf though. He just kind of looks like a dick. He looks like a redditor. That's what he is. <laughs> you like a good redditor, Emmy. I'm sorry to say it. All right. Let's speed let's beat up Spathodia a couple more times, chat, and then we'll end the stream. Alright, this time we're gonna buff Onion and have Onion take her out. The moment of silence. The moment of Let's unveil the truth. We walk in long nights. Diversion. 4K damage! 4K damage! We're thriving! Onion maids are thriving! Yeah! Uh the moment of silence. Onion carry We walk in long nights. Uh just keep just keep hitting with onion. Onion haters do not interact real. All right, all right, all right. This is it, this is it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. We're gonna do this. Wait, what did I just mit? Oh, I'm, I did the wrong one. Whatever. Go, you here, you there, go, kill. <laughs> onion mains are winning. We win. Onion mains are onion mains. Victory secured. I should excuse myself. We did it. Onion mains are winning. <laughs> All right. You are the first person that I have ever seen use onion. It kind of is like the ongoing bit that I use onion. I, I built onion and I'm gonna fucking use onion. The moment, the moment of silence. Uh guess this. Until the torch is lit. Onion redemption. Onion is peak!
Onion is the best character in the game. Don't fight me on that. Onion the GOAT! That's why she's the GOAT! The GOAT! Let's get straight to the point. Don't Girl's brand is just feet, onion, and VA kidnapper. I, I haven't kidnapped any VAs. They're all here because they want to be. Why do you use Bunny Bunny? So basically, I also have a Bunny Bunny build actually. Because I don't have any good uh, beast characters, which is why I really need Spathodia actually. <laughs> I actually do really, really need Spathodia because of that. Zack says otherwise. Nah! <laughs> He's fine! Stay balanced. Uh, we'll do this. We walk in long nights. We walk in long nights. Bye bye. Okay. That seems like a pretty good stopping point. That was pretty cool. Um, we did not make that much progress on the story, as much progress as I was hoping. But I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, hanging out and just, uh... <sighs> hanging out and... Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and just going through the story with me. I had a lot of fun being able to talk to chat, and who knows, maybe we'll have more streams this early in the morning again. Try to mix some of it up. Thank you for the stream, everyone. Thank you all for joining. I will see you all next time. Honestly, this was a good stream time. I'll try to adapt. I had a lot of fun uh, with the stream, so I might try to stream this early again. It felt pretty good. Not gonna lie. Well, goodbye, everyone. Have a good night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow for the Nuzlocke stream. So make sure to tune in then. Bye-bye.